suggest using a corset like belt. In this video, I will show you how to interface details and how to attach bony to a corset in a really simple way. For the sewing, I will use textured wool fabric, rigeline boning, which can be sewn through. Fusible woven interfacing, two sew on snap buttons, lining, haven't decided which one to use yet. And the ribbon for a belt. Also can be sewn from any other fabric, but I will use that I already had in my stash. I have pressed my fabric with steam, have folded along the grain line and I'm cutting details. I'm cutting details from the lining at once. I've decided to take a light color lining towards staining, as it is assumed that the corset will be worn over other clothing. I'm cutting details from an interfacing. It is important to note the grain line even in an interfacing, if it's woven. Transfer details gently to the ironing board. I do it with paper patterns to be sure that they weren't deformed. Do not pull or drag the details until they are interfaced, as this will damage the diagonal lashes, they will stretch and it will be nearly impossible to fix it. Apply the interfacing to the wrong side, place the ironing cloth on the top and press on the highest temperature. Let it cool down a little bit. I use this kind of interfacing to cut my stay tapes. I just cut 2 cm wide tape along the grain line, which is not stretchy. Press on the stabilizing stay tape along the top, bottom and front edges to prevent them from stretching. At the beginning I am doing it with the tip of my iron and then I press it well. Turn the details over to the other side. Since you have two pieces stacked together now, we can see the wrong side of the second piece. Repeat everything on this side. Now we have two identical, unstretched, undeformed nice details. When we want to interface the detail cut on the fold, transfer it on a board and open it very, very gently. I 
Changing the top of my details just them to be more convenient to work with. And yeah, all the details are interfaced properly. I'm cutting off the interface that has gone over the edges. Pin the back centerpiece and side pieces together. In the same way, pin two front centerpieces and front side pieces. Stitch together. If you have a plate or straight fabric, the garment will look better if the stripes at the seams are aligned. Pin and stitch the side seams. Steam and straighten the rigidly in boning. Now we have such a construction. Seam allowances of closed seams usually placed towards the tenters, side seam allowances towards the back. Taking this into account, we have to stitch rigeline boning to the seam allowances so that the rigeline was covered by the seam allowance in an ironed way. Drop and mark 1.5 cm from the top and the bottom edges on all details except for the front. On the front allowances, Ridgeline does not reach the bottom of 13 cm. This is necessary for a comfortable sitting in a garment. Measure it, cut in proper sections and heat seal the ends. Stitch the ridge line on the seam allowances right along the first stitch and very close to it. For me, it's more convenient to cut the boning and seal with heat when stitching. But please be very careful with the lighter if you do like that.
this is how it should look like. Put all the seam allowances to the centers. The side seam allowance go towards the back. Tap stitch 5mm from the seam for all layers of allowances and rigidly. Now you can see a small hack with my table lamp. I turn it slightly to the left or right. A shadow from the seam appears and I bet I can see the line along which I have to top stitch. This helps with textured fabrics a lot. Now the boning is wrapped with cloth from all sides. I will change my thread and sew all the lining parts together. Stitch the front, back and side seams. Press the corset. I iron the garment in sections so as not to ruin the shape and curves. If you are pressing on the right side and your fabric is delicate, use a pressing cloth.
put the line in seam allowances towards the centers and press the seams close. Now it's a perfect time to attach your label if you have any. Cut 5 mm along the lining bottom edge. We need the lining a little bit shorter in order it's not visible from the outside on the bottom. Attach the lining to the main part. Pin along the top edge and lower the corset. Match all seams and back centers. Stitch 1 cm along the top edge. If the lining is slightly stretched out on diagonal edges, put it back in place pinning it you will shrink it back with a stitch. And stitch the lining to keep it from rolling towards the outside. Press the top so the lining isn't visible from the outside. Flip the lining over from the top, pin the lining and the main corset together matching the corners and stitch 1 cm along the front edge.
cut the corners as close as possible to the stitch. Turn now the corset to the right side and understeer the lining to keep it from rolling towards the outside. Make 3 cm gap on a corner and continue understitching as far as possible to the top corner. Press the front so the lining isn't visible from the outside. Turn the corset inside out one more time and pin along the bottom edge all over the corset. Match all the seams and back centers. Stitch 1 cm along the bottom edge, leaving a big gap on the back center. Cut corners as close as possible to the stitch. Turn the corset on the right side through the remaining hole. Press the bottom so the lining is not visible from the outside. Hold 1 cm on the lining on the gap. That will help you to hand stitch the hole.
Hand stitch the hole. Tag the seams on the bottom through all the layers. Spread the seam. Put the corset on the right side. Mark the center line on the left front. Mark the point near the edge where the first button will be. Symmetrically to the center line, mark when the second button will be. Do the same on the left side or the right front. See you on the snap buttons. Usually, buttons are not sewn on the lining in garments. But since the corset does not apply wearing an open such as a jacket, we will neglect this and will not sew any additional facings and thereby make our corset easier in making. I have decided to embellish my corset with a good beaded 3D lace which I had in my stash. Cutting floral motifs that I like and laying them out. And then I'm hand stitching and hand stitching and hand stitching again. Stitch your heat seals or ribbon ends to make a belt and enjoy your brand new Miracle Magnet Corset. Corset-like belt can be worn with any blouse you like. I style it with an oversized shirt. Thank you for watching. Bye!